Hello, this is Deborah. This coming new moon on January 11th will feature the biggest eclipse miss of 2024. So what does that mean? Solar eclipses happen at new moon when the sun, moon, and earth are precisely aligned with the moon in the middle. And if the moon were perfectly aligned with the earth and sun once each month or once each lunar orbit of earth, we'd have a solar eclipse that often. But we don't. Instead, at most new moons, the moon passes above or below the sun in our sky. On January 11th, 2024, the new moon will pass the sun at a distance around 10 times the sun's own width. That makes it the biggest eclipse miss of this year. The new moon will miss the sun on January 11th by 4.99 degrees. That's about the width of three fingers held at arm's length. And you know how the lit portion of the moon is really the moon's day side? At most new moons, the day side is entirely, or nearly entirely, turned away from Earth. But at the January 11th new moon, a vanishingly thin crescent, only 0.19% illuminated, will be near the sun in our sky. Will we see it? Sadly, the answer is no. New moons cross the sky with the sun during the day, so the January 11th new moon will be lost in the sun's glare. But some expert astrophotographers might catch it. Here's the setup Thierry Legault used on July 8th, 2013 to catch a moon at the exact moment it was new, or most directly between the earth and sun for that month. And here's Thierry's photo. See the crescent? That's the barest glimpse of the moon's day side. If you do catch 2024's greatest eclipse miss on January 11th, submit your photo to the community page at earthsky.org. Just remember, only experts should try this. And if you do try it, be sure to protect your eyes from the sun. Graham Jones of the great website timeanddate.com wrote about this year's biggest eclipse miss at our sky. Thanks, Graham, and thank you, Time and Date. We're Earth Sky, and I'm Deborah Bird. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.